Hello there, in this video I'm going to give you the ultimate guide or an in-depth tutorial on how to use Leonardo AI properly. First of all, uh, we're going to explore the recent creations tab. This is the images that are recently created by the, the community of Leonardo AI. Now, while scrolling down here, be careful as some of the images aren't safe for work. The next tab is your community feed. Over here you'll see all the images that have been generated or you can change tabs to find the upscale images that have been generated. Under that is the personal feed. This shows the images that you've created yourself on Leonardo AI. After that is the training and data sets. Over here you'll find the data sets that you're created in the your data sets tab or in your job status uh, you'll, you'll see how far your uh, data set has gone through training now in here you can create a new data set by clicking this big button uh, add the name of it add a description and then uh, you can just go ahead drop as many files as you want from the community feed or your own gallery after you're done selecting all of your images, you're going to scroll all the way back up and then just hit train data set. Now you can do this with less images too, but you won't get the best results. But you can max out of 40 images for the best result. You can upload uh, images from your own desktop too, if you'd like. Otherwise, just hit train model. You can change the model name, the training resolution, the category, and the model description, and hit start training. But I'm not really going to create it right now. Now, once you do this, uh, your model will be ready in a few days, and Leonardo will email you about it. Or you can just go over to your models using the training and data set model and select it. Now, if you don't want to go through the trouble of making your own model, you can head over to fine tune models. These are platform models that are created by Leonardo AI and some models that have been created by the community. Each model specifies in some type of images. Let's see this RPG5 one. It's more of abstract portraits or more like aliens and sci-fi images or maybe RPG style images. But the Dream Shaper V6 is pretty versatile and can generate almost anything. But it's still more on the anime or cartoonish style. But if you go with vintage style photography, you can actually and as the name says, you can generate uh, vintage style images. I'm going to generate with this model. And now you're going to be led to the image generation tab, which is right under your fine tuned models, as in the user tools, your image generation tab. Over here, uh, you're going to select your fine tuned model. As I said, I'm going to be using the vintage style photography model. For the prompt, you can enter anything, let's see. And then you can actually add elements to it. I've added this glass and steel and this one, but I'm going to remove these. You can search for elements over here. Under that is your photo reel and your alchemy models. You have to purchase their paid plans in order to use these. Down here are your image dimensions. It's better to use the image dimensions that your AI has been trained to. Let's say uh, this model has been trained at uh, 1024 by 768. So we're going to select that. And for your guidance skill, you can just enter anything. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the more it uh, you can actually read there is how strongly your prompt is weighted. Just keep it around 7, that's ideal. 
for advanced controls you can change the aspect ratio and then you can go up add image guidance over here you can add in a few images to guide your new image and for your prompt generation you're going to enter a prompt idea and it's going to uh, generate more prompts for it let's say to generate eight prompts wait for this and now you can see if i have some pretty good prompts that i can use you can copy this or either hit generate and it will generate with this prompt once you hit generate it should start and it will be done in a bit while that's happening i'm going to go over to the ai canvas feature over here you can actually now uh, edit up your own images or generations from Leonardo AI or the community. Uh, you can do download artwork or if you want to upload images, I'm going to do it from community. So let's say I like this image. And then I also like the, this black hole image. I'm going to paste both of these and try to merge the black hole with that one. Just choose the select tool to move stuff around. So here you have your draw mask tool. You can mask out the black hole and paste it, but I'm not I'm just going to erase everything around the black hole. After you have that, just select it and throw it in here. To that you're going to choose this little box over here by using your select feature and sliding it off. After that, yeah, you're going to increase the scale of this by making it bigger and then you're just going to hover it over the part of the image that you want to change, that you want to change. Then uh, you're just going to hit generate while this is over that. This is going to take a while, so just wait for it. Once it's done, it will give you a number of images that you can select from. And after that, you can choose from two of these or how many of you selected to find the best one. I like this one, so I'm just going to select this and you see it automatically edited over it. Now for your select tool, you can just paste this square around. And now you can actually outpaint with this. Let's say uh, I want to increase this. I'm going to paste this over here. Make sure it's covering half of your box or half of your generation. And then just hit generate without a prompt. That would usually do something. Or just type same background. That works too. Now it will outpaint for you once it's generated. And you can choose between a couple of these. After the editor, you have your texture generation area. Over here, you're going to insert your 3D model, and with the use of a prompt, you can actually generate textures for it. After that is your API access. Uh, you can select API plans over here for the production API and the pricing calculator. It's up to you. Over here, there's your settings tab. Over here is your settings tab. You can change your profile. Like you can change your username, you can change your interest, and then you can change the user API, but you need to be a paid user for that. After that is your account management. You can either delete your account or down here you can log out. Otherwise, that sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.